Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Programs, folks. We are doing kind of okay, but there are some holes in our production line. For instance, we are not getting enough carbon nanotubes. And that's part, partly because, uh, if we look at the recipes, we're missing some of these uh, spiny form uh, stalagmite crystals. So we need to go out and find some of those. I did set up another carbon nanotube production using uh, graphene and titanium. So we do have that going for us as well. And the, uh, we, we are producing using the alternate recipe here. So we do have uh, 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 spiniform stalagmite crystals coming in. But we're, we're just not producing enough carbon nanotubes. It's just not enough. <laughs> It's just not enough. But our Dyson Sphere is making good progress. And we have rockets launching all the time, pretty much. And we have some of our uh, sectors here, or sections, that are complete, like this one. This one is almost there. This one is almost there. Ah, not quite. Uh, so, I think it's time to start launching some solar sails. And I think that's what we're going to do today. It's already producing 2.78 gigawatts just from the, the frames here. So, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, so, for solar sails, we are going to need some railguns. So let's head over here. Actually, we are producing rail guns back home, so we could just request them where we want them. Uh, let's just quickly see. I actually have them here. So. Let's just grab a hundred of them. We have some uh, solar panels, we have some mini fusion power stations, so all is good in the world. Let's head out. And we'll head to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not mean to warp there. Uh, let's head to Mars 4. Which is down there. Because I think that's where we're going to be shooting the solar sails from. Yeah. Mass four, mass five, mass six, mass four. There you are. Let's get over there. And there we have it. land. Thank you. Okay. So we have power at one end. Well, we have power at both ends, really. But not enough. And these EM rail ejectors, they take 1.2 megawatts. So we're grabbing a bit of silicon here. And, and fractal silicon as well. So where are we gonna put our rail ejectors? Uh, 
I'm considering just putting them all around the equator. We're going to need more power, that's for sure. A lot more power. So, let's... Let's quickly find the equator. Which is right here. And I think we'll set up a bunch of solar panels around that. We're going to need more than we have to go all the way around. Uh, hmm. So if we go all the way around with the solar panels right on the equator, then we could stick the EM rail ejectors right next to them, maybe? So that they run right next to the solar panels all around the planet. That would mean that half of them would be shooting all the time. Which I think is good enough for me. Oops. I think having them, half of them shooting all the time is fine. When they are on the equator, because that will mean that there are a lot of them. So there, that's as many solar panels that we had. That's just over a quarter of the planet. Uh, let's request some more solar panels. Uh, let's do 500. Okay, and let's try sticking one of these down. So if we have a belt running here, then we can stick down you. And let's actually do it over here. And you can be there. And you can have a input. Okay. And then we can have the next one there and so on and so forth. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. So that'll mean that we need a... Actually... Hmm.
What if we stick you like this instead? And then have the belt running in front. Where can we have the power? And actually, no, we can't. Um, we need a sorter. Then we can have power here. Then we can copy you. And have power here. And that'll work. Could we have power in between? So it covers two. We could. Okay, I like that better. I actually wanna move you over here. And then here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And that'll mean You uh, need all you really need is those, those, you need some of these guys. And I think that should be fine. Now we need to set up a orbit. Let's have an orbit be something like that. Yeah, that seems good. And then have it be maybe, let's see, 145. Something like that. We don't really care about that. Let's create that orbit. You need to be set to orbit two. And well Okay. Then our solar panels arrive. They did. Let's get something like that. And we can basically just do this. Uh, no, we can't, because we need the belt first. Do that, 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 that. That. There. Okay. And get some power going. And you are in the wrong place.
Okay. Let's hook this up to the rest of the grid. Sure, I want you there. Mm. Let's see. Let's just come over to here and down there. It'll have to do. Okay. You are charging, but not a whole lot. So then we can have you there. I'm not going to request the um, solar sails just yet. Because we need more power. And we're also on the dark side. But with all the solar panels going around, hopefully we'll get enough power. Once we're all around, around the belt, the equator. So, you know what, let me get this set up and um, then I'll be back because this is going to take a little while and it's not very entertaining to watch setting up all these solar panels. So be right back. Right, so we have come full circle with the, um, with the solar panels. So hopefully we have enough power now. Uh, no, we don't actually. <laughs> That's insane. We're still charging though. So that could have something to do with it. Hmm. I think I might set up some mini fusion power reactors as well. All right, uh, let's continue on with these. And these are uh, let's see 60 kilowatts idle consumption 1.2 megawatts active so that's a lot of power So that basically means that we need four of these to power, four solar panels to power one of the rail ejectors. Well, that's a lot of power that we're going to need. That's a lot of power. Yeah, I think we don't have a choice but to. No, let's. Hide those. Don't really care about the stone, to be honest. There's plenty of stone in the universe.
Okay, that's a quarter of the, of the planet that we've set up with rail ejectors. I think we'll, when we reach the next prime, we'll uh, set up another tower for getting solar sails in, which is right here. That's us halfway around the planet now. Let's take you out. You in. How are you? Solar sails. Those. Local demand remote storage. Got you in there. Once the autosave finishes. Which actually takes a while now. Hope I didn't do that too many places. There was no sorter. All right, keep a going. I suppose we should get some power set up for them as well. Getting there. Okay, I think we're three quarters of the way around the planet now, which is awesome. And you're gonna get in the way, aren't you? I actually didn't think we'd have enough belt to go all the way around the planet, but uh, we did. More than enough. Uh, 
Okay, can we see them? Yes, we can. They're right there. We brought a hundred EM rail ejectors, so we've set up seventy so far. So seventy four rail ejectors set up. I guess that means that there will be 32 shooting at a time, more or less. All right. Uh, I'll get the power poles in, and I think I'll also set up some uh, mini fusion uh, power to power all these, and uh, then I'll be back. Alrighty. I have set up power poles for everything, and we have also got some uh, mini fusion power so we now have 274 megawatts generation capacity that should hopefully be enough so let's say local storage remote demand and over here remote demand local storage so that's 20,000 solar sails on their way 20,000 solar sails on their way. I love it. Now all we have to do is wait. Is that solar sails arriving? It looks like it. Could be. No, I guess not. I guess not. Hmm. There's another one on its way. That's not solar sails either, I think. Nope. This must be solar sails. Yes, there they come. Nope, that was more uh, deuterium fuel rods. Come on, bring the solar sails. Please? Please bring some solar sails. This has to be it. They're coming. They are a coming. Yep, there they are. And out they go. Let's get over here where they'll probably shoot. Yep, we are firing. We are firing. Nice. So if we come out here. Alright. Why are you not firing? Maybe you can't. You can't aim high enough to fire. I guess. These guys are firing. 
Cool. So, if we look at the Dyson Sphere, we are coming in and getting sucked in. to where? Doesn't look like they're getting sucked in at all. But they should be. It's a pretty good stream of solar sails coming from out here, in my opinion. Seems like they're spreading out a lot. Let's, let's fly out there and take a look. Saving. Auto saving is taking a while now. There's the star. Let's just head over here and see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Going 2,000 meters a second. That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. But not fast enough. Let's just head over, over here. Ah, uh, look, they're kind of in streams. And looks like they're being sucked in at these points here. Whoa, that sounded cool. Let's slow down a bit. I think they're being sucked into this one, these ones. Because they're kind of in streams, right? Damn it. Man. This isn't easy. This is actually quite hard to navigate. Yeah, look at that. They're like on a shoestring. And in they go. Very cool. Very, very cool. Need to go pretty fast to keep up with this thing. Yeah, so this is as fast as they can go in, I think. And we can see a little bit there. Look. Do you see it? There. So we are getting ourselves a Dyson Sphere. They're going into quite a lot of places. Look at that. Uh, 
That is so darn cool. <laughs> Let's fly over here and take a look. So look at that. There are something is starting to form. And I guess over here as well. Yeah, something is starting to form both there and there. Man, I love this game. <laughs> this is so cool. We are getting a Dyson Sphere! Look at all those solar sails coming in. No rockets right now. Has everything been built? Everything might have been built, no. Not quite. No, it's just because we're missing, uh, we're missing frame material, I think, because we're missing uh, carbon nanotubes. But a lot has been built, and we are plonking. Solar sails in. Quite a few of them. It's going pretty fast. We're up to 3.53 gigawatts. Uh, more than 2,000 solar sails out there. They're kind of keeping up with around 2,400. So cool, man. And look at this one. It's, whoa. It's already there. Let's not run the game. That is so cool. It's actually forming quite quickly. It's actually forming quite quickly. stream just continues from out here oh here comes some rockets oh we're far far away from the sphere now there are all the rockets coming in right there Let's try and head over there a little bit. Let's see where are the rockets going? Where are the rockets going? Seems like up here. At least some of them. Yeah, the last one went in. Man, this is, I, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Saving again. Man, look at that. Oh. Look how many s are already in there. That is awesome.
Did the rocket stream stop already again? No. Where are we going? Over here. I don't see him. And there are some. I'm building this thing. Can't really see him. But our solar or our Dyson sphere is a building. And whoops, I didn't want to work. We're up to 3.65 gigawatts of power. We're holding very steady at the 2.4 or 2400, 30, 40 solar sails. Very, very steady. And I think that's a reasonable number. We're almost done building this uh, first bit of the sphere. So let's head to Mars 1 if we can find it. There it is. I want to land on you. Let's uh, let's slow down. Where'd you go? There. All right. Let's see if we can get down here. That would be kind of nice. And I guess this is. is going. How many do we have? Almost 10,000. Wow. We don't have any graviton lenses. And that's because they're not set to supply remotely. But we definitely need some more of these guys. Now, now that we have those the critical photons, what do we need to make antimatter? Uh, mass energy storage. So two photons turn into two hydrogen and two antimatter. And then we need 10 to make antimatter fuel rods. All right. So I think this is what we're going to focus on next time because we definitely want a lot of these. so that we can fuel some stars. They gave 75 megawatts of power each. That is sweet. Yeah, that's what we're gonna focus on next time because we are out of time for now and Getting those artificial stars going, I think, would be awesome for us. Look at that. That is so cool. And we need to get a lot more ray receivers. I want like two or three rings of these going around. Yeah, that's what I want. So 
looks so cool. That doesn't look so cool. But it is what it is. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.